right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our newest episode of Harnessing Helium. I'm here with Simon from Data Cake. Um, my name is Jacob Swin, the product marketing manager here at Helium. Um, we are launching this November. We're kicking off our second annual user appreciation month, kind of celebrating everyone in the ecosystem, deploying devices and new applications and celebrating that network usage that's all too important. And console integrations are a big part of the usage and the ecosystem. So we are um, kind of celebrating with our different integration partners. So we're kicking it off here with Simon and DataCake. I'm going to talk a little bit about what DataCake has been doing, what they are going to be doing in the future, and any more exciting updates that Simon wants to share. Um, so quickly, just a little background here, DataCake was introduced as an integration partner with Helium on console in April of 2021. And Simon, I'm just pulling this straight from your website, so you can correct me with, if anything's changed here, but you guys say you're a multi-purpose low-code IoT platform that requires no programming skills and minimal time to create custom IoT apps that can be brought into a white label IoT solution at the push of a button. That sound all right? That's, yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so just kind of following up on that since April of 2021, um, is there anything that's changed on your platform since that new user announcement? Do you have any exciting updates for us? Yes, sure. We have. Um, through integrating with the Helium network, we got a lot of new customers on our site, also a lot of new feedback from user requests, new features and so on. And so basically we were able to extend the whole platform with new functionalities. There were many requests for onboarding many devices at once, um, developing their own templates on data cake and yeah, bringing new functionalities. So basically everything has remained the same. It's easy to use and fast to set up, but it has more advanced features. All right. Excellent to hear. So what are the main goals for the DataCake platform and problem it's trying to solve for its users? Um, well, first of all, um, let's go a little bit back into the history when we started. We started as an um, IoT platform, which was closed. Um, so we had our own hardware, we can say, no lower band integration. But the focus was industrial customers with um, no expertise in IoT, no knowledge in programming and so on. So we needed to find an easy solution. This completely remains that we just extended everything to integrate LoRaWAN networks, the Helium network, um, and also device templates. So basically um, our perspective and focus is like bringing in an IoT platform that is easy to use um, and that you can yeah, quickly present to your customers. Um, and we're not so much focusing on a classical developer. Also, you could use our backend for developing your own apps, but basically um, we are, yeah, say like a low code or no code um, IoT platform. Gotcha. Gotcha. So this next question might, you might have answered this a little bit, but you can expand maybe um, if you need to, but the ideal, ideal customer for the data cake platform, you said kind of, it, you know, it, you don't have to be the high tech developer person, um, kind of their experience level and different use cases the platform can assist with. Yeah, um, the typical customer, um, well, I think think we do have different customers. We also do have developers, but basically yeah. the what, what turns out to be the most, uh, the customers um, mostly on the platform are um, medium-sized businesses or businesses in general who want to start with IoT and they do not want to care about everything, setting everything up on themselves. We do assist them um, also with um, yeah hardware recommendations and we do a lot of support for them. But basically our ideal customer is um, someone who wants to start with IoT, gets into LoRaWAN, into Helium, for example, and then yeah just quickly wants to get value out of his use case, out of his business case. Um, and we can, yeah, we can also see that coming from your um, um, network, we got a lot of com non-commercial, so end-user customers that deploy sensors in their home, um, yeah, and just do some quick dashboarding stuff on DataCake. Okay, okay. I know sometimes like LoRaWAN, IoT, that type of thing can be, um, I don't want to say overwhelming, but kind of, you know, intimidating for people who don't have a like a big background in that space. Have you found it like, how, how do you guys kind of navigate that to kind of, um, you know, expand into that market a little bit? And I, I'm curious about that, you know, just um, kind of showing that, okay, you don't need to be a, a coder, you don't need to be a developer to be able to use this. 
Yeah, um, this is ex exactly what we're right now have on our vision where we want to go, um, because we can see from um, we were very successful throughout the last one, two years almost. And then um, we can um, see where it still gets some problems onboarding devices or bringing new customers on. And it's mainly the interconnection between sensor, um, network and then IoT platform. And what we are trying to do is basically making this more and more easy to automate everything in between also maybe like a managed helium solution where you can buy the da um, the data credits directly on data gig something like that just the vision mm -hmm. but basically what we're trying to do is making it um, more and more simple and especially with helium this should be easy to do because of you have more than 250,000 um, gateways everywhere almost yeah so yeah. the network is already there uh, we should just make it super easy so in the future um, it would be possible that someone comes and uses helium directly on data cake and just enters the devices directly on data cake and this will solve a lot of the problems that our first time users have that do not have experience in iot or in programming at all they just want to buy a sensor monitor something and it should work and not just spend hours on programming it and that's yeah, yeah. absolutely yes okay so kind of piggybacking on that a little bit um I'm going to let you screen share if you would like to here, but just wondering how easy is it to set up the Datacake console integration once a user has an IoT solution or a use case they want to use? Do you want to walk us through quickly how to do that? Yeah, um, so I've prepared a super small um, workspace and there's already a device in it and we are going, I'm going to show how this device can be um, forwarded from data from the um, Helium console to Datacake. Um, so I won't touch anything here on the console side. I assume that your users already know how to get devices on there. And there is this LAQ device once more. And um, we simply need to copy um, the dev UI from here or simply just read it from the sensor. And on Datacake, um, in your workspace, this is the list of devices, you have this blue little button here. And when you click on that, it opens up the LoRaWAN template section. Um, we do support various manufacturers with templates that help you get started pretty easily. Um, and we are simply selecting um, the LAQ sensor. Um, we press on next, and then it allows us to choose various networks. Um, we support both uplinks, downlinks from Helium. That means we can also send data back to the devices. We press on next. Um, there could be someone dropping a CSV file with lots of sensors to import, but this time we just want to simply get this sender um, that we just had in the console and call this LAQ device number two. Um, also, we support up to two free devices on a workspace um, with every user. So Datacake is free for you to, to use for the first two devices. Um, and also for scaling customers, just to mention that we support um, yeah, volume discounts and custom pricing. Just They should just contact us on that. Yeah, um, yeah you press on next and then it was created, the LAQ4 device. Um, it already has this dashboard inside here and everything is set up. Um, I just set the device to every two minutes so maybe we are just right on time to get data um, but basically when it fills with data um, yeah it looks like this and on the helium console side luckily users have this data cake integration um, when you um, add a new integration they simply can choose the data cake integration and provide a token um, we have a couple of guides and also tutorials on youtube available but it's pretty straightforward to do that yeah well this is just all and then you have your first sensor and from there on you can continue to explore all the other functionalities awesome very simple great yes yeah that's perfect i'm a marketing person so i need i yeah. need simple tutorials like that yes i'm not a developer so that i love to see that yeah. yeah and this 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 is exactly where we want to do more automation so that everything can happen on on data cake and that yeah you don't need to switch in between of course if you want to do that absolutely um okay but if you we can how, somehow orchestrate the complete process on the helium network this is what we're going to do in sure. the couple of next month or so yeah okay great so um like you showed us how to onboard devices there. Can you also do that through the Datacake mobile platform? And what info can users see there? You know, a lot of people are on their phones all the time and want everything on mobile, mobile, mobile. 
Yeah, um, right now it's the case that the mobile app is a little bit feature frozen because of we're concentrating so much on the web front end. Also, we've got this white label package where you can hook up your own domain from your company. Um, this will not work on the mobile app because the data cake branding will remain and the stores do not allow us to republish all the apps once at a time. So we focused on the web only. but. Um, what we saw is that there's a super high interest in the mobile or native mobile app for smartphones, especially from your user base. Um, so we see that there is a large potential still available and yeah. we are trying to bring more functionalities within the next month for this app, especially um, on the mobile side. Um, so right now it's a viewer. That means that if you have a device on data cake, you can view them in a native mobile form on your smartphone, both um, iOS and Android. Um, but basically we do see a potential there and want to extend like onboarding and simply go through yeah, the sensor ad process and we're all set. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that would be a, people would love that. Like I said, everyone's yeah. always on their phone and not always at their computer. So to be able to- Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know Data Cake's platform is very popular with our console users and the Helium community. Can you talk a little bit about working kind of with the Helium community? And, you know, I don't necessarily mean Helium employees, but more like, you know, the whole community, like on Discord and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, it was at the beginning, it was um, super, we were super excited because um, before we were working with mo uh, mostly commercial, also end users, but mostly commercial um, users that end users got data cake into their companies and so on. Um, and from your user base, this was a little bit different because there were a lot of people who were experimenting with sensors and, and helium and they were just loving their hotspots and everything. <laughs> yeah. So um, what we experienced was that working so far with all of you, this is just super great because they're super friendly and they give you all the feedback that we need. One of the things, um, the key behind our success is that we listen to the market and then bring features um, from requests on our customers. And we brought up like um, this um, community tool where you can vote for new features and actively, uh, especially your user base was actively using this. Um, so this was something that we haven't experienced so far. So we do really appreciate that. And we really love to work with the Helium community. And also it's super interesting to see that there are in my hometown, normally I'm the IoT guy in my hometown and deploy <laughs> gateways everywhere, but suddenly there are hotspots everywhere and I even don't know these people. So basically that's, <laughs> a great thing that the community is expanding so large yeah yeah no and i really like you know saying kind of giving the community a voice and what you're doing a little bit that keeps them really engaged and more excited about what's coming up so yeah i think that's great um last thing i had here just i know you talked a little bit about what um you're doing in the future maybe but do you have any other current projects or things coming down the pipeline a little bit that you'd like to talk about maybe that data cake is doing Yes, um, we do have a couple of, of um, yeah, new features. Um, so first of all, we were um, really concentrating on the backend side uh, because we had uh, such amount of growth that we were concentrating on the backend side. I guess you know these problems that when you grow, you need to to yeah make everything more stable and secure. <laughs> yes. And um, right now we are working on more front end features because we would love to add front end features all of the time. Um, the next big thing that is coming is like um, a global um, device map. Right now, everything is in a list, but we want to have a basic map. And also we see that um, we want to step back a little bit um, back from being just an IoT platform, but more a data platform a little bit. So that means that um, we are introducing a concept called, we call this common data types, which means that a sensor always has a location, always a battery and always a signal. And that means that if you have a map, you can click on that and then you see all the locations and from your sensors and yeah um, also we are getting gateway and hotspot information also from your side so um, we are looking on a way to utilize that on our platform so stay tuned but uh, all right. it will be interesting yeah awesome awesome all right well those were all my questions simon did you have anything you mm -hmm. wanted to add at all do you have anything that i missed that you think we should cover mm. No, not as, not not. I've seen all the questions in your list, and um, I was yeah. Sounds good. Exactly that. What it. I was yeah. Um, Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Well, you, thank you again to Simon from Data Cake, and um, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the video description to start using the Data Cake integration on Helium console if you haven't already.
All right, Simon, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for being here. Absolutely.